All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to the new section of the Blurred View. We're covering gaming and anime. I am your host, Nanners, and this is my co host, Ninja Senpai. Two nerds, two gamers, here to hook you up with that good, good. Let's get into it. So, <laughs> about that devil make my, my bro. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to start off with this. Okay. Devil May Cry has been on everyone's fucking page, social media, since they actually released the drop and the announcement. And I can't literally go like five minutes scrolling without seeing something Devil May Cry related. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those people, you're like, fuck you, bro. saw some gameplay tonight, it's worth it. Yes, if you guys don't know, Nanners does stream, stream and, oh lord, her stream tonight was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, if you like tipsy streaming, like, definitely go watch it. Um, but, it was actually entertaining to see her, like, mix it up with Dante, do all these different moves and all that stuff. I was like, damn! This is actually really good. I actually might get it. I actually might get it. I'm thinking about it heavily. But probably the only thing that's stopping me is I didn't ever get like raised on all the Devil May Cry games. That's my only problem. So I don't know where in the story this is. Okay, and with that, with you saying that, they've actually touched a lot. And I've met a few people when I made my Twitter post that did not know that Devil May Cry not only had a novel, but it had a manga set, and one of which was not released, which was a manga for a lady. So you have a novel, you have a manga with uh, Dante, which I believe was volume red. Um, don't fucking quote me on this, guys. I've been drinking, like you said. It was a tipsy stream tonight. <laughs> and then you have a... Uh, Volume Blue, which was Virgil. And they actually did some tidbits, dropped some tidbits of it into DMC5. Um, and that also includes the anime that they made. Uh, Patty is from, don't remember if she was from the novel or not, but she's definitely from the anime. Morrison is mentioned in the anime. V is mentioned in the graphic novel. Um... So they've tied a lot of the novel and the manga in and the anime into the DMC5 video game. All of which of those products are made by Capcom. Oh, fucking Devil May Cry nerd. God bless you, Capcom. Um, but yeah, there's lots of um, tie-ins throughout the whole series and the other franchises that Capcom has popped out into DMC5, which is why it got a lot of hype from uh, fans that knew about the anime and the manga and the graphic novel. A lot of us already knew a certain thing about a certain someone in the game because of the novel. Which I'm not going to say shit unless yeah, yeah. you tune no, in no and one. spoil it for yourself. No, no, no spoiler one. I'll probably see if I can go find the manga and like read it, and then I'll probably go pick up the game after I watch the anime. I'm sure. I know both manga, both the one with Dante and Virgil are on Amazon. I don't know about the novel, though. You might be able to find the novel, novel on Amazon. Um, but shit. It's feeling like a redemption arc for Virgil. Yeah, I caught I caught that in the stream. It's like I feel like it's leading 
I mean, it, it definitely is. Like, from what I've spoiled myself on, they leave it open for another game. It's going to be up to Capcom if they want to make another game. It's definitely going to be heavily requested, <laughs> just like DMC5 was, because no one was pleased with that other game. I mean, there's a few we that we were pleased. That one. <laughs> we don't speak about that one. Um, but yeah. Like, we have waited a long as time for this type of Devil May Cry game to pop back up into the series. Um, so I'm definitely expected DMC 6 to be heavily requested, and I'm pretty sure Capcom knows exactly what they just fucking did. They know they're gonna rake in more money making another DMC. And I wouldn't be surprised... If this whole DMC5 is literally the start of a redemption arc for Virgil. Hey, Virgil needs his time, man. Virgil needs his time. It's okay. I'm still, um... I really don't want to say it, but at the same time, I really fucking do. No spoilers for the people out there watching. No spoilers. No this spoilers. is true. This is true. Uh, Y'all need to get on my game and play it so I can talk about fucking Virgil and the theories that are around Virgil, Dante, and Nero. Just hurry up and play the damn game. <laughs> play the game or like watch a whole fucking uh, gameplay walkthrough on YouTube. And shit, they don't even have to do that. Just like watch the movie clip compilations that people have done on there. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've done for it, just to skip through the gameplay. Like, I'm like, I really want to know what the ending to this is going to look like, so I know if I'm going to hurt or if I'm not going to hurt. Nah, it's ruining the, that's ruining the fun. You got to be, you got to be surprised, or you can't be, like, hurt and then prepare to see it again type of hurt. No. No. <laughs> yes. No. I have to be prepared for that shit. Or else it's going to end up like last night when I played episode art and shut it off when I'm not even oh, halfway through the game in the fucking fetal position crying myself to sleep. I, I saw that Twitter. I saw that tweet and I was just like, well, <laughs> she's done for the night. I have never shut a game off that fucking fast, dude. Like, it was immediate. It was instantaneous. I'm like, power up! TV up. I'm going the fuck to bed. Excuse me. I was. You said she was gonna assume the position and fucking sleep guys. Like it was yeah. that serious. Assume the position and cry myself to sleep. Like, see, with that, I was hoping there'd be a happy ending. Square Enix said, "Nah, you're going to hurt throughout this whole fucking episode. Worse than Ignis and Prompto." Take it! <laughs> Alright. Alright, oh, shit. Man. Shit. Fuck. Alright, DMC. Before we proceed with, like, announcing the fucking upcoming video games people can pick up either at 9 or midnight if they pre-order. Um, out of all the characters, including the ladies... Who is your favorite? Uh, and why? Well, I got, I got, I got a, like a, a soft spot for you know the OG Dante, obviously. But I'm really liking V. I'm really liking V. I like his attitude and like the way he approaches things and. He's ass. He's like, yeah, go do this for me, but I'll steal like the final kill. Like, I like that. I like his move set. I was I was definitely like out of playing all the games. I do enjoy these gameplay the most, but out of all of the characters, I have to say, I have always loved the twins, but. I did lean more towards a favoritism towards Virgil. 
but I also kind of wanted to smash Don Tim when I was little. <laughs> I think that is every teenager else's desire till now since DMC came out. Except, well, except that one we don't talk about, but that's probably <laughs> some soft spots for some girls. I don't, I don't know why, but it probably did. But I do, I do like, um, I do like Virgil. He's, he's a really interesting character. Just, I, why do you have to be bad? <laughs> I don't why? think that he's bad because it's clearly shown that he was completely separated from his family at a young age because it looked like Dante himself was a really small child. So it's more than likely possible that someone warped him or influenced him into kind of being the ass that he is. I hope we get that that story for Virgil. I really do. That would be nice to see if we got like a background story on what happened to Virgil when the attack happened and where he ended up. Because, shit, if he ended up in hell for all those fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Be I'd be an asshole, too, if I were him. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that would be very interesting. I mean, okay, that that explains everything and, like, your whole attitude and outlook towards the world, so. He's like, fuck all of you. You screwed me. Shit. Can't argue with him. He's been to hell and back. Twice! Wait, maybe more than twice. Maybe more than twice. Who knows? Shit. Tune in to DMC 5 to find out. <laughs> Tune in to DMC 5 to find out. Tune in to DMC 5 to find out. That's it. That, that's true, that's true. Um, alright, you know, for a little shit talk of DMC 5. And the possibility of being DMC 6. <laughs> um, we do have a few games. <laughs> My apologies. Thank you, Ninja. Um, so, for Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission for April 5th for the Switch, you can pick it up at 9 p.m. if you pre ordered it from your GameStop. On top of that, the Final Fantasy. X and X2 HD Remastered for Xbox One and Switch. You can also pick up at 9. Uh, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut for Switch. You can pick up at 9. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen for Switch. You can pick up at 9. Mortal Kombat 11. Everyone's waiting for that Mortal Kombat. Not gonna lie. Got it pre-ordered. Already have some people that want to throw down. Um... PS4, Xbox One, Switch. You can pick that up at 9 p.m. at your local. All of these are going to be at GameStop. These are GameStop announcements. So if you pre-ordered at GameStop, you can get these shit, these games at 9. Uh, Cytus Alpha for Switch. And for those of you that don't know, this is a mobile, originally a mobile rhythm game. Um, both me and Ninja have played it. It's an amazing game. I love it. Um... That is going to be for Switch. You can pick it up at 9. Uh, Days Gone for PS4. You can pick up at 9 p.m. Um, on the four, on April 26th. And then you have Will A Wonderful World for PS4 and Switch. Anime Persona 5 Dating Sims Feel. Uh, pick that up at 9. And as far as the other games that I announced, Final Fantasy and Wasteland, you can grab on the 16th of April, Dragon's Dogma, Mortal Kombat, and Cytus on the 23rd of April. I hope you guys got all that down. If not, rewind the podcast. Yo. <laughs> Where will, I'll, we can drop it in the comments. It's whatever. We'll drop it in the comments in the description. Please find a game that if you do like, definitely go, go pick it up. Especially if it's gone. I heard it's one of the best zombie games to come out in a few years. So, again, these are all opinions. But, definitely go check it out. It has nice graphics and very smooth gameplay. 
You know what? There's one more I'm going to announce just because the show is extremely popular. Um, as far as I saw, they didn't give me a early release date for it. But March 17th, Steven Universe, Save the Light, and OKKO, OK Let's Play Heroes Combo, will be released on, on May 17th. So, for all you Steven Universe fans, since we're heading into the anime section of this podcast, that is going to be out just for you. Oh, there's so many people going to be happy about that Steven Universe game, definitely. Alright, bro, move us on into the anime. Alright, guys, we're here with the anime. The one and only Senpai. Uh, but, um, I wanted to know your guys' opinion on the winter 2018-2019 semi, semi class that came out. Like, one of the good shows that came out, finally returning after its visual novel release, was uh, Rising of Shield Hero. Definitely go check that out. It's really nice. And one of the OG animes that I've can't escape people talking about is Promise Neverland. Have you seen Promise Neverland yet? You have not. Okay. Nope. This this anime is suspense. Uh, kind of a suspense horror-ish type of anime. And opening is a bop. I'm going to just say that right now. It's The whole bop is flat. It's actually very nice. It's about three kids who are orp- who live in an orphanage, and something is going on, and they need to escape. I don't know if that gets you interested or like. Is this gonna be like on the level of Corpse Party or Higurashi? Uh, or kind of like more toned down than the two. Uh, it's probably more closer to Higurashi. Okay. It's probably more closer to Higurashi. And I believe Corpse Party. Corpse Party was, like, really blood gore. But this isn't really all that. I will give it a mixed shot. Higurashi kind of, uh, turned my stomach a little bit the further and I got into it. But I made it through, so... Uh, I mean, it's not, okay, like, probably first few episodes of Hirashi. Not, not like, later on episodes where they were just, like, pushing the envelope and, like, showing you all this gory, gory stuff. <laughs> but then there's also that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh, boy. I have watched nearly every isekai genre there is in anime. And this is one of my favorites, next to like Kadosuba, which is actually getting a movie later on. They haven't released the date yet, but Kenosuba is getting another movie supposed to be featured around Megumin. So definitely wait on that. But that time I got reincarnated as a slime has been... One of the best isekai animes that I have watched. And it's really funny. Uh, it plays on the isekai trope in itself. So it breaks that fourth wall. It knows what it is. <laughs> it knows it what plays it is. With that. It's the Deadpool so, of anime. Definitely. And it is, I think, on episode 24.5 by the time we're recording this so Jesus and that's just the first season so I cannot wait later on next next year for this anime to come out with its second season after the next few chapters of the manga got released and is done so I'm definitely looking forward to that I know a few people 
that I know will be definitely looking forward to that as well. Then let's see. Don Machi. Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? Nope, not at all. Second season coming to you in July on the summer can be fast. Alright guys, we've been waiting for I don't know how long it's been. Been a hot minute. Two, three years since the, since the first season launched and no one really knew about it. Except Hestia. Praise white dress goddess. <laughs> Praise white dress goddess. Praise big titty goddess. Big titty goddess. That's, that's all we do around here. Big titty goddesses. So, there's that. And then, let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh... Three zero. Three zero. Second season coming to you guys. It's been announced. They released a PV on the new trailer. Well, not the actual trailer, but they released artwork for it. And it's definitely coming to you guys soon. Uh... I know all of us ReZero fans can't wait to see Best Girl Ramp. Zero. Best Girl Ramp. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know who's Ram. I don't know who's Amelia. It's like that. <laughs> Rim, Ram. Rim. We, on, we only, we only Rim's the one with the blue hair. Ram's the one with the pink hair. We Amelia, we don't talk about Amelia. We don't talk about her. But we, we do talk about, about the cat boy. But I'm a boy. No, you're fucking no. not. <laughs> no, no. We don't, we, don't, we don't talk about Felix, all right? No. <laughs> we don't talk about Felix. We could talk about Felix all day, every day. Uh, I know a few people that would love to talk about Felix every day. So let's, let's leave that off. Are you have to wait on? Second mm -hmm. season, no game, no life. You actually beat me to the punch for that one. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for that second season. Definitely after that movie, too. So. Speaking of which, for those that have not seen the movie, it is available now on Hulu. You can go watch it. Please go watch it. Like, definitely go watch it. It's really nice. I got the chance to see it in theaters when it released I in the U.S. Too. Like, I was with all my other weaves, and we were just weaving up that whole theater. It was nice. We all had our No Game No Life shirt. I have one that I got from New Anime. It had your girl on it, and I have the bracelet Sora had, so I was wearing that. I was actually dressed up as Shiro for it. Sadly, there was there was no uh, cosplayer that at my theater that I went to for the showing, but... That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I would love to go to, like, debut releases, but I don't think my theater allows cosplay and stuff, so... Sad, sad face. But... One... Two more announcements on anime. For those who have watched those at work, the second season has been announced. They have not released a premiere date, but they also, but they have released a, a visual on the second season of the poster. So definitely go check that out. All this information is on Crunchyroll. You can check their Facebook or you can go on their website and go check that out as well. But I want to talk about one more, one more anime that's been going on for a while. Cool, people won't shut up about it, but it's so good. I'm trying to get people to fucking watch this anime. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Fucking watch it! <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, everyone, please. If you have seen Golden Wind, Gucciarati is that dude. Giorno is that dude. Just that whole team is just 
a whole bunch. The meme factor is very high in this season, and they know what's going on. And that ending fucking slap. <laughs> For the first half of the first season, that ending fucking slap. Never thought I would hear that type of music. <laughs> on that anime ending, like, what? If you haven't watched all those bizarre adventure, please, please go watch it. Or Nanners will find you and like force tie you down and force you to watch this season. I will. I will do it. She will do it. I know she would. Like she wouldn't do it to me because I watched JoJo, but like I, I know she would. I'll force feed it to you. Fuck oh it. man. Take it. Oh god, please no. Don't don't scare off her <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't scare off my viewers. Actually, some may like that. Some actually may like that. We're all weebs here. We have We're some all... form of filthy fetish that we don't talk about on a daily basis in front of people. No, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna save that for um, After Dark. After dark. <laughs> save that topic for After Dark. That is definitely a she bad territory. It is almost one o'clock, my dude. We have been going for, I believe, half an hour. Close to. My tipsy ass needs to induce some more pizza, maybe another strawberry sundae. And for those of you that don't know, that's Dante's favorite fucking treat because he doesn't know how to eat like an adult. And, um,. <laughs> what? what are you talking shit? No, I didn't. I'm not talking that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you didn't turn it into the first part, but apparently, grown ass man don't know how to pay his damn bill. Oh. <laughs> his whole fucking business was not only out of power, my dude. His phone was cut off. His water was cut off. All of his electricity was cut off. Pay your bills, everybody, please. Pay Don't bill. be Dante. Pay your bill. <laughs> I... Don't be loser trash Dante. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't know how to pay bills. He's like, well, I only demon hunt for a living. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise, guys, the next one will be so much better because I won't be tipsy. I'll try not to be. Either way, Release the new stuff. We'll be sure to be back with a few new issues. We'll talk about probably Anthem, the problems going on in Overwatch, we'll including the toxicity and apparently how Blizzard thinks the toxicity has gone down forty percent when it's actually players leaving. <laughs> I'm actually one of those players that left Overwatch because Same I got tired here. of toxic. I was with Overwatch since its freaking uh, beta. So to see where it's become is a great thing, but it's also saddening yeah. because it's got really toxic. But we'll save that. We'll save that for another stream. That's for a uh, next trip. That's. I don't know, how long do you think it'll take to cover all the and stuff? Uh. Probably won't take that long. It's, it's only gonna be like a few bugs that they did have, which they did patch, and I think that's really it. I mean, and we, the difference in the different patches that they did—that's really all. We could probably go into from Anthem to Overwatch next thing, so we can go to whole thing. Yeah, or, we can go to Anthem to Overwatch. Throwing jump force in there. Oh yeah. Don't get me started on that. I actually stopped because of the bugs. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to get fixed before I continue playing Jump Force. We're definitely going to talk about Jump Force next stream. Definitely. So make sure you look out for this. We, gotta, we, we still got to think of a name for our little, our little segment. We do. We do. Because, you know, you have the regular view, and then you have the after dark, so we, we, need, we need our own little section. Well, we'll see. Is this going on? Well, what the fuck did you just do? Uh, you know, this meme is attacking me at night. 
Do you, know do you need me to call Devil May Cry? Nah, I may cry. You may cry? I may cry. It's alright. Okay. I like the way my room is set up right now. I don't I don't like giant holes in my roof. Oh shit, you're right. He does like destroy <laughs> shit. Anyways, guys. Uh, do you have anything else you want to go over, Ninja? Uh, no, but I will throw out a little, uh, probably a little rumor that I have heard. If any of you guys hear from it or hear anything about it, like, put it in the comments below. We'll definitely read the comments and definitely, uh, see if we can do some research on it. But I have heard a rumor on Bleacher returning eventually, sometime, and a rumor about Dragon Ball Z Super already in production with the new season after the Tournament of Power. So, if you actually hear anything about it or like see any posts or articles, videos, whatever, just link them in the, in the description and we'll definitely work on reporting that for you next stream. Alright guys, you heard it from him. If you hear any rumors, let us know. We'll check them out and dig into it. Mainly, he'll dig into it. Uh, <laughs> Probably. I'll definitely dig into it. Don't worry uh, about it. That's, that's, that's my job. That's his job. I'm the streamer and game searcher. Um, anyways guys, we will catch y'all next segment. We're going to try and keep these 30 minutes uh, to I mean, if it reaches an hour, chill. But we're going to try and keep it to a 30-minute episode session for y'all so we're not wasting your time with shenanigans. So we hope to see you in our next segment. Um, do you want to do any shameless self-promotion, Ninja? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, you know what? Do, let's do it. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Ninja Senpai Cosplay. That's me. I'm your boy. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Ninja Senpai 69. That's that's also 69. my handle. Yeah, that's that's also my Twitch. I <laughs> am trying to get back into streaming, but it's hard when you don't have the correct setup. So you can also follow me there. I also have a YouTube. Most of my links are in my Instagram description. So definitely go check that out. And then on my end game my end guys like you said i do stream i was streaming earlier today it's why i'm tipsy probably why this is gonna be like shit um she's hella tipsy guys like, <laughs> don't do this in our stream you know what go look at her stream after this definitely go do it so speaking of our stream my my stream <laughs> um my twitch is nanners spelled n-a wait N-Y-A-N-3-R-S. Yeah. Told you she's tipsy, guys. <laughs> and that goes also for my Instagram, N-Y-A-N-3-R-S. But Twitter is not like the rest. It's N-A-N-3-R, N-A-N-3-R, Nanner Nanner. So if you want to follow me on any of those platforms, they're relatively the same way, same spelling, except for Twitter. Um, you can uh, definitely catch us mostly on Instagram. Oh, hell yeah. You check us out there. Especially, like, on the Blurred View in general. We'll be popping definitely, up there quite a lot. Blurred View. If you're into the naughty uh, subject talk, tune in to After Dark. With our girls uh, She Bad and Charlie yeah. Rocket. They, ne well, Charlie Rocket ain't that nasty, but She Bad definitely nasty. If you she want bad. some stories, she got some stories. We, we, we ain't gonna talk about Sheba right now. <laughs> that's, that's a whole other beast. Like, <laughs> let's not. Let's not do that. But definitely go check out After Dark because it's really entertaining and they bring in good guests. So, definitely do that. And then the Blurred View always has some amazing cosplayers on as guests. So, check them out as well. We're all one big segment. After Dark and Blurred View have their own Facebook page and group. And we only have Blurred View currently on Instagram, but we're all under that umbrella. So go give them some love. Check them out. We love to talk about social issues within the society, geek culture, all of that. So if you have something you want us to discuss, throw it our way. We'd love to talk about it.
Peace out, y'all. Have a good uh, rest of the month. It's almost April. You know what that means. Easter's coming. Praise Raptor Jesus. Fuck yeah. the world. Goodbye, y'all. I am out.